everyone welcome back to some more hard west we've managed to improve uh, the value of our bounty now after murdering 38 people and causing $65,000 worth of damage now we now know where the uh, the masked man is however we are not going to go there yet because if we learn anything from taking out a demon we know that we simply are not ready and we have a gang of one at the moment so I think maybe that we're going to have a look should we rob the bank? With just one of us? Maybe not. Have we got anything else nearby? Let's go to the gunsmith shop, in fact. Let's try and spend some of this money we have. Let's browse his wares. Right, okay. Let's see what we've got. So we've got 495 to spend. Elephant rifle. Long damage is 5, ammunition is 1. Interesting. Okay, let's have a look at our weapons. We've got the Western Rifle, which is medium range. Shotgun. Do we go for something long range? Elephant Rifle is 70. Some say Skull Rifles are a tool of the devil, but you can't argue with their results. Hmm. Maybe. We've also got the Revolver. Damage on that is not great. I think we'll go for... Oh, let's have a look at this. So that's a one shot. But it's six rated. Oh, we've got the bargain rifle. A minus five on that one. Okay, we'll go for... Oh, a volcano pistol. Eight and five, it's short. Maybe we upgrade to Volcano. It's better than the six shooter. Okay. Um yeah, we'll go for just the one for now. We never know who we're gonna get into the gang. We'll try and get the volcano on the other side. And uh, we'll go for the elephant rifle as well. In return for that, I think we'll probably switch out quite like that let's have a look the Lancaster pistol look at the horn on the bottom of that that's quite cool allows two shots per turn the damage is oh right that's interesting maybe we'll stick with what we've got I think I'm uh, I'm okay with that we could give more money in how much gold do we need to give 90. Okay. We'll confirm. So 130 for 130. Let's make the trade. Excellent. Right. Where to now? A fate trader. Let's have a look. Came across a shady character in a peculiar clothing and by a bizarrely marked stand. He says he has trinkets which will only reveal themselves to you when you deserve so. Let's have a look. Ah, it's just a relic and a repeater rifle. That was a bit of a letdown. So let's kit ourselves up with some of our new stuff. So first things first, I think uh, we are going to get our volcano gun. In fact, let's just switch to guns. I like the Lancaster pistol, that's interesting. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. And where's our elephant gun? I like the chain rifle for its ammunition. That's a one shot. We'll try out, we'll see how we get on with it. Okay. A data sum sort containing strong sedative. Deals minor damage and debilitates enemy movement. Let's try it. Okay, so talismans. Let's just have a look at what talismans we've got available. In fact, let's just reset them all for the time being. So, plus 35 max luck, minus one max health point. Not sure about that. A necklace. I like that. We can tell where the enemies are. Cursed ammo. Plus two damage, minus 25 luck. Okay, well, Vulture. 
I'm not going to do that one. I'll go here necklace. Oh no, maybe we can't. Ah, right, okay. I'm with it. So we can only pick one of these. I like sights. So I think we're going to stick with that. And we've got some new cards as well. So let's have a look what we've gone ahead and unlocked. So, nine of diamonds plus one. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to get rid of all the cards right now. And we'll see if we can make up a bit of a suit. Um, let's just have a look at everything else. Plus five aim. Plus four sight. Okay. What have we got? So the movement, defense, health points. Sight, aim. Okay, so we're going to definitely go for sight. We could do another sight as well if we wanted to. I feel like we need to improve our defense a little bit. So let's get our defense up. Cannibal thing, I'm not too keen on that for now. Movement, we could increase sight again. So really, we need to unlock enough to just get a flush or something. Um, we'll go for aim. I like the sight of that. Improve our health point. We're up to nine now. We've got any more health points? We've got one there. Or we can improve defense by two again. Um, so that one requires 50 luck activation. Hmm. Kill an enemy and get a chance to kill another and another. I'll try that. Sweet, so as you can see there, straight hand plus one HP and turn. Okay, I think we are pretty much good with that. Right, where can we find some help? We've been to the gunsmith shop. I think we're pretty much running out of places to go. Let's head over to... Have we been to the inn? Oh, yes, we have. Let's go over to the Indians. Then maybe we'll head back to Hope. What have we got here? So tobacco, cocoa leaves. No, that's fine. So we're taking a little bit of a tour around, trying to get as prepared as we can. The ghost town of Hope. Rumour had it the whole town had died of the plague in a single week, with the sickness in the air and the bodies on the ground, no one dared to loot the place. The best thing about being undead gives me an iron stomach. I looted the town. I've got a rattling cough. Oh, would you look at that? I've just got a volcano pistol. And three bottles of liquor. Oh, liquor, sorry. Liquor? Where the hell's that from? Suddenly, an old hag approached, squawking like a preacher. She said the city was a grave, but not all citizens were buried in it. Seven men were buried in the forest. Six decent folk and one thief buried with his loot. Continue. She said that if I was to dig up the thief's grave, I'd be rich beyond measure. Touch the wrong grave though, and you'd be cursed. Bad luck would haunt you, sickness would crush your bones and spirits would follow you. She vanished, leaving you alone with the memorial marker. Only part of the memorial was uh, legible. All you can make out was Stephen Teague, a hard-working farmer, Robbie Tate, a fair judge. Tony Sullivan, a magnificent cook, Donovan Bryans, a brave miner, and Sam Courtney, the finest blacksmith. So, we've got some graves to visit. Um, I've actually got quite a lot of graves. Okay, well let's start with the closest one, we'll go to the Kratz grave. Someone had to try to dig up this grave but left in a hurry. A note was nailed to the cross. Seeking this man's lawful heir, contact me, Rami Tate. Let's dig it up. I dig up a thick bone skeleton by all appearances a cook. There was something stashed there. Maybe it was still edible. Not sure about that. Warren is now affected by Kratz skull. Wow. A 
Powerful blow to the head induces vertigo. Crap. Lungs may be collapsing. Uh, yeah, we need uh, a little bit of help. Let's go over to the mossy grave. Covered in fresh moss, a pristine green carpet flecked with morning dew. The only readable part of the epitaph was a fine merchant. I don't know if anyone's going to be a crook. Maybe it's the merchant. I'm going to leave that one. We'll head down here. The, brave, the grave was as poor as it could be, though the meadow flowers around it meant he'd been loved. You weren't sure why, but you have a feeling this was a grave of a farmer. Let's dig it. As, as goes the grave, so goes the man, poor. A name was sewn in line in his coat, Stephen Teague. The only other item present was a bottle of liquor. Oh, we've got a spine fracture now. What? Surely these things will go away though. Well, you would hope so anyway. Hmm. Okay. Do we go to the rest of the graves? Um, let's go to the abandoned and then maybe we'll stop there. Here lies Sam Courtney, a skilled. Sam has been found stabbed to death in his house with no indication of struggle. The investigation discovered that he'd been testing his new stab proof jacket. Let's have a look. I dig up the bones of an enormous man. He must have been a blacksmith. With him you found a vest made of some kind of leather you hadn't seen before. Got a gushing wound. And a skin vest. Okay. I think we're probably going to have to stop because we're getting quite a few injuries here. Skin vest. Plus 10 defense. Plus 3 heat. Um, I feel like we might need that instead of sight. Increases our maximum luck. That provides an immediate luck boost. And what's this? Ethanol. Maximum HP will do that. Excellent. I don't think we can really take too much more damage with this. Um, where do we go? We've been to the Faith Trader already. All we've got are graves to go to, which I'm not really that keen on. We do have these places, so we can go over to uh, Homestead. Yeah, let's go to the Homestead. It looks like the masked man was away. There were few clues, but he could still loot his house. If you focused on valuables, you knew the servants would get a chance to run. If you were focused on the servants, some would grab whatever they could and run off with it. You took the valuables, enslaving whoever you could along the way. I focus on killing the servants. You burn down the house with everyone inside it. Um, we're gonna be burning down. I'm I'm on a bloody trail here. I circled the house, barring the exits and smashing every oil amp I found. Undetected, I lit a cigarette, enjoying the tickle of the smoke through the holes in my face. When it dwindled, I flicked it. A tiny coal arshin. Sorry, arcing through pitch. A moment later, the house was bright with merry flames and the screams of those being burned alive filled the night like a symphony, occasionally interrupted by suicidal gunshots. As the bounty on my head increased, people in the area wanted less and less to do with me. The shop owners raised prices 10%, hoping I'd take my business elsewhere. Idiots. Ah, right, okay, so it's these two who have raised the prices. That's fine. 61 people, we're getting there. How are we getting in this? Did these actually go away? I hope so, because right now our health points are really poor. How the hell do we get rid of an affliction? 
Surely we've got to go somewhere. Let's head over to the Elixir for a moment and we'll just see if there's anything available. No, unfortunately not. How do we heal up? Well, I'm not going to be robbing the bank in my current state, unfortunately. Let's go to the excavation site. We're going to have to keep on going through this. Prospectors in the area had teamed up with a mass man to form the Southwest Mining Company. I could collapse just the entrance for an immediate short term effect, or I could blow it up from top to bottom to put it out of commission forever. That would take longer and there would be far more risk of injury. Okay, we don't want to get injured, so um, we'll collapse the entrance for now. With the mine entrance blocked, the mining operation stopped for a while, severely impacting the mass man's funds. Brilliant, okay. We've got the old sawmill next, and then it's the mass man. I'm a little bit worried. You need, we need these things to go away. 